Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm trying to make this the absolute shortest video possible so we're going to get right into it. This is my Pan That palette for 2023 and I'm using the Norvina Collection palette from ABH and it is the Volume 5 pig Pro Pigment palette. So all the other girls who are doing this with me are using the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This is the Norvina Collection Pro Pigment Volume 5 palette. So I wanted to use this because I wanted to use one that was very similar to theirs and I didn't have that one. But this is what mine is looking like right now. As you can see, we have a nice dip going here and in this one down here and also in this glitter. Um, there's a lot of use and love. You can see it's a little bit dirty. I tried to wipe it off a bit, but definitely seeing some kick up on here and really, really excited about the fact that I'm getting use on this. So we were at 448.16 grams last month and we are now at 447.91. So I'm really starting to make some movement. I really want to see that number get like lower, substantially lower. So this month I'll be using this one quite a bit more. I don't have it on today. I actually have a different ABH palette. It's the Primrose palette on today. Um, but I really, really, really love this palette. And if I ever hit pan on a whole bunch of these and it started going bad I would buy a backup of that or like a replacement of it because it is just so good I really enjoy this I will swatch a couple of the shades for you just so you can have a look this is my favorite one in the whole palette this is the other one that I have a really good dip going on it's a little lighter and softer but it's really and I think that's got a little bit of hard pan actually but it looks like that and this is one of the mid-tone shades and here's one of the metallic brownie purple shades really looks more brown here um, and this is the glitter really beautiful so these are just some of the shades that I'm using actually let's swatch this one too it's a little bit gold on the side there um, but I'm really 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 loving this and I'm trying to get use of so many I'm not using the peach ones as much like this one here this one here and this one here I'm not really using those ones as much and I think I may have to push myself to use them let's just go ahead and swatch this one so that's like more of a copper, not really my jam. You'd think it would be since I have blue eyes, but this one I have used a couple. Oops, that one I have. I'll just show you here because I have brown all over, but that one I have used. It's very, very beautiful. Very gorgeous. And then this one right here is like a camel shade almost. Um, I haven't really used that one, but I love the color. It reminds me of MAC Uninterrupted, but a little more warm tone than yellow tone. Um, like this is more like an orangey than a yellow. And yeah, I really, I really love the color story, but you can see you get quite a bit of option, even though this is a purple dominant palette, you get a bit of option. So um, that is pretty much everything. I don't really think there's much more to say. Um, Except for, I think the person who created this way back in the day, Amber F, go ahead and check her out because she still, to this day, pans palettes like crazy. So go ahead and check her out. I'll try to have her link down below. But this is the one that I'm using for all of 2023. And I will hope to have some crazy dents going for you guys for the next month. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!